Yeah, Alright, we're back here at uh, the BMW Motorrad Park Hill after a very successful two days of the Philippine uh, GS Trophy Philippine Qualifier. No, uh, as you can see, I'm wearing the same shirt as the participants. So, what are we having today, Naman? Well, uh, today is the third day of the GS Trophy uh, series of events uh, for the Philippine Qualifier. Now we are offering uh, our media friends and celebrity friends uh, a taste of what to expect or what to see in the GS Trophy uh, International. Of course, it's different from the actual experience, but we, we will try to mimic uh, the activities or the exercises that will be uh, done in, in the GS Trophy International event. So I, I think aside from us media, no, you will also have some celebrities and racers joining today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, joining us today, uh, one is Paulo Abrera uh, from ABS-CBN and uh, Jay Taruk also is uh, joining us. Uh, Sam Gogna of uh, 89.9 is also joining us. Uh, our racers Marvin Mangulabnan and uh, Lawrence Makalinaw are also joining us today. And uh, we also have friends from C-Magazine, uh, Driven to Ride and right PH. Let's congratulate our winners from yesterday, no? si Aris, si Lyothar, and Derek. Derek no? So they will be flown to Thailand. Uh, in, in when, when, will, when will this be? Uh, the top three uh, Philippine qualifiers will be flown to Thailand uh, from September 1 to 3. They will be uh, joining the participants or the um, uh, qualifiers from Thailand and Malaysia, uh, Taiwan and Singapore and they will be vying for the third um, position or the, for, to form the three-member team of the GS Trophy Southeast Asia team. All right, so that's it. So uh, it's our turn, so don't laugh huh, when you see us crash. Anyway, congratulations, Hill. This is an, an epic event for the local uh, you know, uh, adventure riding community, and we hope to see more of these events uh, later this year or Very next soon. year. Very soon. Thank All right. You, thank you. Hello, Sam. So, after two sessions, how's the day? Going good so far. Uh, Semp lang count, 3-0. Uh, <laughs> How about you, Sam? I'm at 5-0, bro. Alam mo ang dalawa. Ako, dalawa. Dalawa rin, no? Yeah, but, but learning a lot, man. Learning a lot. Um, uh, you know, it's not every day that you get to experience these things, and uh, you're not afraid of actually dropping the bike, and, yes. it, you know, you know these uh, the stones, the gravel, the sand, the mud. Um, it's always a, a good learning experience, about right? Yeah. yeah. And it's, uh, I mean, like I've been riding for a while and I feel like I know what I'm doing on a bike. But when you go back to, to the very basics on a slightly different surface, different. you have to get rid of bad habits, you have to relearn the basics, and it's just going to make you a better, safer rider. Yeah. And you know, it, it looks easy, but it's not, no? Not at all. Not. Especially, actually, the lower, the lower speed maneuvers require more finesse, more yeah. balance. Um, nakaka, ano, nakaka frustrate and at, at the same time nakaka challenge. Yeah. For me, no, what I take away, what I learned is that you know, it's more of building confidence in learning how to handle the, the heavy GS. Absolutely. No? Absolutely. I mean, it just it looks heavy, but once you find the sweet spot in terms of the, the center Moving, of balance, yeah. the center of gravity, then it starts to it starts to get easier. Yeah. yeah. All right. So they take you guys now. We have still one more session. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Exciting. Stay in one piece, brother. Stay in one piece. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> I was slow. Yeah. Way back. I was slow. Yeah. Yeah. No, everybody was fast. Yeah, but it's going to Thank you. 